What's up, YouTube? It's Kafan here, and I'm gonna bust into three packs of 1985 OPG baseball. There's gonna be eight cards in each pack, and there's gonna be a poster in each pack also, and that's gonna protect the cards from gum damage. So let's tear into this here. Of course, there's no Olympic baseball in 85 OPG. And there's no uh, Roger Clemens rookie. But there is lots of good stuff in here. And this gum has crumbled away from this poster, so we're going to crack open this poster. It's going to be an Expos or a Blue Jay Slayer. And Dan Dressen, the Montreal Expos. I'll put that over there and see what we got here. So no gum damage on any of these cards, which is great. Scott Sanderson. Got a Jimmy Key. I believe that's his rookie. Yes, it is. I like these OPG cards. So the backs look a little bit different, and the uh, card stock is a little bit different. It's actually a cheaper card stock. Here's a Hall of Famer right here, Dennis Eckersley. Very good. We got a Bill Russell for the Dodgers. Got a Ron Darling for the Mets. That's his rookie card too, I believe. These cards are all in really nice shape. Nice gloss. Willie Wilson here. Oh, we got a Tom Seaver in the White Sox uniform. Very good. So two Hall of Famers right out the gate here. Got a Jason Thompson. Cecil Cooper, very nice, a star player there for the Brewers, and a Gary Templeton. So very good, I'm very happy with these. These are uh, in good shape and no gum damage whatsoever due to the uh, poster. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, looks like we got a Reggie Jackson. Very nice, so the Hall of Fame uh, streak continues here. We'll peel this gum off this poster. That comes off real nice. Let's see what we got here. Got a Blue Jay. Willie Upshaw for the Blue Jays. That's good. Another poster there. Set that there. And look at this pack. Starting off with this Reggie Jackson. Very nice. I like that. So three Hall of Famers already. The Bobby Ramos, Mike Smithson, Lee Mazzilli, Pirates, a Charlie Lee, oh boy, we got a Rod Carew here, wow, so I've been doing good with these packs so far, lots of Hall of Famers, damn, there's a Steve Carlton, wow. So these packs of 85 OPG are doing pretty good. Got a Ron Davis. Got a Willie McGee. Very good. That's a star card I like to get. And a Ben Ogilvy. So very good. Got a nice little stack going. Plus all those Hall of Famers. So bust into this uh, third pack here of 85 OPG. I think these OPG sets have about uh, around 400 cards in the checklist, maybe, um, you know, 300 something. And they're uh, heavy on the uh, Expos and Blue Jays, and then it also makes them a little heavier on the star content, since it's not the monster tops. <laughs> 792 cards. There's a Domaso Garcia. Another Blue Jays poster, put that right there. Alright, so check out this last pack here. Got a Mike Mason and the Rangers. Got a Jim Gott. He's traded to the Giants. I think these OPG cards came out a little bit later than the American issue, so they're able to have trades on there. I got a Moose Haas. Glenn Hubbard, longtime Braves second baseman. That's a nice one. And a Rick Camp. Another Braves. Very good, and a Lance Parrish. 
I know I have the Topps version of that. I had the Topps version of that card in my Star card binder when I was a kid. The Tony Fernandez. David Green. A Dave Parker, nice, on the Reds. And a Gary Reedus. All right, going to get another look at these Hall of Fame cards here from this 85 OPG. And OPG cards and Leaf cards also, the Donruss counterpart, are printed in much less quantities than their American versions. And they're also much more condition sensitive because they're on a cheaper card stock. But it also gives the cards a nice look. There's that Steve Carlton. 1985 OPG Baseball. Thanks for watching.